Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Caroline. Welcome back to part nine of our video course on Xcode tips and tricks. In this video, we'll be taking an in-depth look at Xcode behaviors. Using behaviors, you'll be able to control your Xcode environment even further than you have already. You'll be able to open tabs and windows or even run scripts automatically when you perform certain actions. In this slide, I've set up Xcode to have different tabs for different tasks. I've configured each tab to show different panes. Here's my editor where I don't show the utilities inspector and the storyboard, which doesn't show the project navigator, but does show the utilities inspector and a separate search tab so that I can search through various files, but I don't lose the file where I'm currently editing code. Here's a tab that will show when the breakpoint is activated. That has the debug console showing. And here's a tab that's just the debug console. If you have multiple monitors and plenty of screen space, you could show this tab in a separate window. It takes quite a while to set up your perfect environment. And if you accidentally close a tab, that's perfection lost. Enter behaviors. You can set up behaviors in Xcode preferences. In the left pane here, you have choices of building, running, testing, etc. And each choice has options such as starts, pauses, completes, and so on. For example, this is the search section that displays my separate search tab. I've set it up so that when search starts, and that's as soon as I press shift command F, a tab named search will open and show the find navigator and hide all those panes I don't want to see. On the previous slide, I showed different tabs. I've set up different behaviors for each of those tabs so that if I were to accidentally close, for example, the search tab, then when I press shift command F, the formatted tab will automatically open again. You can also set up your own custom behaviors with your own custom shortcuts. Here I've set three custom behaviors. The third one of these you'll be creating in the challenge using custom shortcuts. In the demo, we'll create a script and a custom behavior to open a terminal window at your project folder. So let's get into the demo and have a look at tabs and behaviors. We'll set up a tab for editing code. The shortcut key for creating a new tab is Command T. You should be able to rename the tab by clicking twice on it, but Xcode 9 doesn't seem to allow this. So press Shift Option Command T to rename the tab and call it Edit Code. Press Option Command 0 to hide the utilities inspector if it's showing and Shift Command Y to hide the debug console if it's showing. If you're in the assistant editor, press Command Return. That's now set up the perfect code editing tab. So we'll create another new tab. Command T, rename the tab with Shift Option Command T to Storyboard. We'll set up this tab for the storyboard. Shift Command O and open main.storyboard. Option Command 0 to open the Utilities panel and Command 0 closes the Project Navigator. And we've now set up this tab for the storyboard. We can navigate between tabs with Shift Command square bracket. And this shortcut also navigates between tabs in other apps such as Finder. The downside is that we can press Command W any time accidentally and lose the setup. So let's set up a custom behavior to do this for us. Press Command Comma to bring up preferences and choose behaviors. Let's first set up a new tab that opens up the debugger when we run the app. All these items on the left have the same options on the right. So for example, you could annoy your coworkers by playing a ping sound every time your compile succeeds. Under Running, click Starts. Choose Show Tab, name and call it Debugging. And we'll open up a separate window for it. 
Check Show Navigator and change it to Hide. Check Show Debugger with Variables and Console View. Check each of the next three items and change them to Hide. If you don't choose Show or Hide, any open panels will stay open and any closed panels will stay closed. Build and run the app and you get a separate debugger window which is a bit big. So let's resize it. Stop the app with command dot and close that window. Run the app again and the resize debugger window comes to the front again. Now let's set up a custom tab to set up a code editor. In the behaviors window, click the plus at the bottom of the left pane and type edit code. The command key here indicates that we can set up a keyboard shortcut. This can be quite tricky as Xcode already uses the most of the keys for other shortcuts. Click the command key image and choose shift command dot. That's equivalent to command right angle bracket. Now check show tab named and call that edit code and we'll choose show navigator and we'll choose the project navigator. We'll also check hide debugger and hide utilities. And this is exactly what we did earlier when we set up the edit code window. Switch windows and press your new keyboard shortcut, shift command dot. Your interface will open up a new tab called edit code with all your panels positioned ready for you to edit code. Here's another example of a custom behavior shortcut. When you're using things like CocoaPods, for example, it can be quite useful to have a terminal open at the project folder. And we can do this very easily with a custom behavior and a script. Open up a terminal window. That's in Applications, Utilities, Terminal. Type pwd to show your current directory and we'll use vi to create a new script here. We'll move it out of this directory shortly. Let's call it uh, script.sh. Press A to add characters and type hash bang slash bin slash bash return. That sets the shell language for the script and then open space minus A space terminal space dot return. That dot is for the current directory. So here we're going to open terminal in the current directory. Press escape to stop adding characters and press colon wq to exit. Type cat script.sh to show the file to make sure that it's the same as mine. And type chmod plus x script.sh and that makes the script executable. In Finder, locate your script file and drag it to your project folder. In Xcode, go to your Behaviors window and click the plus at the bottom of the window to add a new behavior. Call this Open Terminal and click the Command Image. I use Control Option Command S. And that S is for script. Check run and choose the drop down to choose the script. Now go back to your project window and press Control Option Command S and type PWD to check the current directory and it should be your project folder. LS minus L to list all the files in that folder. So you're now ready for CocoaPod or Git action in Terminal. With your script, you can just do Control Option Command S and you'll have a new terminal window at your project's current directory. So that's behaviors and scripting. If you're good with scripting, you can be very creative about setting up custom behaviors with your scripts. That's it for this video tutorial. But as always, we like to end with a challenge. We've looked at setting up behaviors, so my challenge to you is to set up your perfect environment. 
You already have a custom behavior for editing code and a behavior for opening a debugging window on run. First set a behavior for when the app stops that opens the edit code tab no matter what other tab is showing at the time. Next set up a behavior for search that opens a new window and shows the search navigator. If you get stuck or you're having problems, check out the challenge video solution for the answer. Now that you're able to configure your working environment, we've reached the end of the practical part of this video series. In the conclusion of this series, I'll recap all the things you've learned and give you some ideas of where to go from here. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. In your challenge, I asked you to set up the perfect Xcode environment using behaviors. And here's how I do it. I want this edit code tab to show automatically when I stop the app. So in preferences, which is command comma and behaviors, choose running completes, choose show tab named edit code and hide the debugger. I'll switch the tab to storyboard so that I can check the behavior. Run the app and then stop the app. And the tab switches automatically to edit code. So that one works. Now for the search part of the challenge. In preferences behaviors, choose search starts and choose show tab named search in active window. Choose show navigator, find navigator, hide the debugger and hide utilities and hide the toolbar. And now we can test out the new search tab with shift command F. Notice how Xcode puts the cursor exactly where you'd want it to be to start typing. You can press command W to close the tab when you're finished because Xcode will automatically create the tab when you redo Shift Command F. Practice navigating between tabs with Shift Command bracket.